Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So I have decided to start a new series of sorts. I feel like since having Lottie and obviously being pregnant for the majority of last year, I definitely let my fashion content slide a little bit. And I know a lot of you probably follow me purely for the fashion content. And so I want to start a new series that will hopefully be useful for helping you put together classic everyday outfits, but also hopefully make it that little bit easier when shopping online. So I'm gonna be focusing on a different brand each time. I'm thinking every other week, and I will be ordering some really great wardrobe staples, key pieces that will be perfect for anyone who is looking to build a capsule wardrobe. So I thought, where better to start than Uniqlo? I feel like everyone is raving about Uniqlo at the moment, and they have some really great wardrobe staples at great prices as well and I am so impressed with the quality of all of these pieces and I know this rail looks very neutral but like I said I wanted all of these items to be able to fit really well into a capsule wardrobe and to be able to be styled in lots of different ways. Um, so as usual everything featured will be linked below in the description box. Any questions leave a comment I will get back to you as soon as possible but let's get going with the video. Okay so we'll start off at the back with a very simple item but an essential in any capsule wardrobe and it is a basic white t-shirt and this one is great. It is 100% cotton, it feels really lovely quality, it's soft, it hangs nicely, um, it fits me perfectly in the medium, I'm wearing the medium because I wanted a slightly oversized fit and I feel like the medium on me is perfect but I also feel like the small would have worked well as well. It comes in lots of different colours and obviously it can be styled so many different ways all year round, it's just an absolute essential. Um, so definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good classic white t-shirt. Okay next up are a pair of trousers and these would be perfect for an autumn winter capsule wardrobe because they are in the loveliest warm soft comfortable fabric. I feel like these would be great as workwear, you could sit around in these all day and they feel super comfortable on. Um, but equally they look great as everyday wear, I would style these with a t-shirt and a blazer with a jumper with a long wool coat over the top. I'm wearing these in a size small and they fit me perfectly, I'm usually a size UK 8 and these were £34.90 which I think again is a great price point because they feel really lovely quality, they hang really nicely um, and I also love the fact that they've got belt loops as well because you can wear them, obviously you can wear them with a belt. Um, so love those and then sticking with wide leg trousers, I feel like this is more of like a spring summer version of those. So again a pair of wide leg trousers, I think that these, yeah these were also £34.90. They are, I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same style, slightly different actually, this pair haven't got buttons on the back where this pair have but very similar style, very similar fit, um, but like I said, this is more of a summer version, so these are more of a lightweight fabric, got a little bit of stretch to them. I'm also wearing this pair in a size small, fit really well around the waist, very comfortable. Oh, and also I am five foot six, just for height reference. Um, but again, this pair also come in a few different colors as well, and I feel like this is just one of those styles that can be dressed up, dressed down, just a really great pair of wide leg trousers. And then the third pair of trousers that I ordered are more of a straight slim leg, um, but again super impressed with these as well, they fit so well, I'm also wearing these in the size small and again they were £34.90, that must be the price of pretty much all of their trousers. These would also be perfect as workwear, but equally I love how this style of trouser looks coming into spring, start with a pair of beiges and a white t-shirt or just a lightweight knit, a blazer, a denim jacket. Um, I just think a pair of smart trousers like this are, again, great for a capsule wardrobe to dress up or dress down. Um, and the quality of these are lovely, they feel very comfortable on, a little bit of stretch in them um, and just a very simple style and also I like the fact that they also have the belt loops as well so very impressed with these. Okay next up is an item that I feel like went viral on TikTok and Instagram last summer and I saw so many people raving about this and it is this cropped ribbed tank top but it has a built-in bra, so a built-in kind of 
padded bra, slightly padded bra underneath. And I think that that is the reason that this was so popular because obviously people love wearing vest tops coming into kind of spring summer, but with this style of tank where they're kind of slightly cut in on the shoulder, sometimes it's tricky to wear like a strapless bra, you can sometimes, sometimes see the line, bra strap you'd obviously be able to see with this. So the fact that this comes with a built-in bra is brilliant. Now, I ordered the wrong size for me. I ordered this in a size small and it's just a little bit big for me in the small. It feels like it's not quite giving enough. Like I feel like this should be really fitted and you'll probably be able to tell from the cutaway. It's just a little bit loose, bunched up at the back and not quite tight enough. I just lift this up so you can see. It's just got the padded bra inside like that and then it's elasticated around the bottom. So it just gives you just enough support. For me personally, it was plenty of support. Um, and it also comes in lots of different colours as well. So I feel like this works so well in a spring summer capsule wardrobe. Another item I've seen people raving about recently are Uniqlo's thermal layers. And so I ordered this long sleeve top and also a pair of leggings as well. Um, obviously I can't report on how well these work as thermals because I haven't worn them out of the house yet. I haven't worn them layered up. I don't know how warm they are, but Quality wise, this feels so lovely and soft and comfortable on. In fact, this is a lot more lightweight than I thought it was going to be, but I think they do, I think this is the more lightweight version and then they also do a thicker version of this as well, which I will link to, um, but they were out of stock in my size in that one. But this feels so silky soft and comfortable on. Again, comes in a few different colors, but I think that these just as base layers, I love having, if I'm wearing knitwear, in autumn winter i love to have a long sleeve top on underneath anyway and the fact that this feels so soft and obviously will hopefully keep me that little bit warmer i feel like these are great and price wise i'm pretty sure this was this hasn't got the tag on it but i think that this was also 14 pound 90 i'll pop the price on the screen the only thing i would say is that this is a little bit sheer but obviously it's designed to just be worn as a base layer but i even think that this was just a pair of jeans great long sleeve top. And then I also ordered a pair of black leggings. These say heat tech, extra warm cotton leggings, 100% cotton lining. I ordered these in a size small and they fit me perfectly in the small. They were 19 pounds and 90 pence. And again, just a simple pair of black leggings, but very soft, very comfortable. Um, they're kind of just in that classic legging fabric. I tend to wear more like Sweaty Betty, Lululemon, kind of that more gym fabric leggings. Whereas I quite like these for a change in that lovely soft jersey fabric. Very comfortable on, very stretchy. They feel nice quality. They're just a great pair of leggings. I feel like they're, they're nothing, the, the lining isn't like super soft. It's not fleece lined or anything like that. They don't feel like they'd be particularly warm. And I'm pretty sure that these wouldn't be see-through either. They, they look as if like you can stretch them out and they don't look like they're going to be thin or see-through either. So yeah, impressed with those as well. Next up is a cardigan. And again, I feel like a good, simple, classic cardigan works perfectly in a capsule wardrobe. I would style this with a pair of white or cream jeans. I would style it with leather trousers like I've got on now. I would wear it with blue jeans. I would even wear this over the top of a maxi dress as well. I love the way that cardigans look over maxi dresses, especially when I was pregnant, that was a good kind of outfit, a good comfortable outfit. Um, and this, again, it's just a great simple cardigan. It was 29 pounds and 90 pence. The only thing I would say is that I've just looked at the fabric and this is 60% acrylic, 30% polyamide, 8% wool and 2% elastane. So not the greatest fabric. I personally prefer more of like a wool cardigan, um, a bit like my And Other Stories one, that little bit thicker, little bit better quality. This does look nice, but um, I think, yeah, I mean, it reflects in the price, doesn't it? So I like that one, but I think I would prefer it if it was more of a wool cardigan. Next up are a pair of jogging bottoms, but not just any old jogging bottoms. These are fleece lined. Look how cozy they look on the inside. These feel so snug and warm on and yeah, just a very comfortable pair of jogging bottoms. And I know I said obviously these are all kind of like capsule wardrobe pieces and I don't feel like jogging bottoms are necessarily a capsule wardrobe staple, but I do feel like these can be dressed up into an outfit. So I styled these for the cutaways with 
Um, I think I started with a white t-shirt and a black blazer and my beiges. And I love how they look styled like that. It's a very kind of, um, very casual, comfortable outfit, but I just think popping a blazer on over the top just smartens up the whole look and means that you can dress them up as an outfit or kind of dress them up slightly as an outfit. So I feel like they definitely have a place in a capital wardrobe, purely for the comfort factor as well. I'm wearing these in a size small and they were £24.90, which again, I think is a great price. Um, and yeah, very comfortable, very cosy and just oh, super snug. Next up, another item that went viral on TikTok last year, and I'm pretty sure this was sold out completely um, last year, but it is now back in stock, and it is the Uniqlo bag. And this costs £14.90, so such a good price point. It's just a great basic everyday bag. And I think the reason that this was so popular is because it fits so much in. I've seen people like filming TikTok videos of this, cramming loads into it. And because of the fabric, it just stretches and stretches and stretches. Well, it doesn't stretch actually, that's a lie. But I think because of the fabric, it kind of just opens out and you can fit loads into it and it just works well as a very basic, kind of simple, practical, everyday bag. I would wear this if I was walking the dog. I would wear this if I was nipping out running errands. Um, inside it has got two pockets, so you can just see it's got the zip opening and then it's got two slots on the side. Um, but apart from that, it is just very simple. I mean, you wouldn't expect much for under 15 pounds, would you? But if you're looking for a basic everyday bag that does still look quite cool as well, I think when I've seen this styled up in reels, I always think it looks good with a casual outfit. Um, and it comes in, I think about four or five different colors. I went for this neutral color to tie in with everything else. Um, but I think the black's also a great option as well. And then the final two pieces I ordered from Uniqlo are two basic round neck knits. One is extra fine merino wool, and the other one is 100% cashmere. So I'll start with this one, because this is obviously the cheaper alternative of the two. This one costs £29.90. So again, a great price point. It feels lovely quality. It's very, very fine knit, whereas the cashmere one feels a little bit thicker and obviously very soft, but this does still feel soft. Um, it's just a slightly finer, knit can you see like the way it hangs fabric wise this one is a hundred percent wool like i said extra fine merino wool so really lovely quality fabric for the price and just a very simple classic gray jumper that would fit in perfectly to a capsule wardrobe i feel like this is just like i said one of those pieces as with most of these that can be styled so many different ways again leather trousers jeans white trousers even coming into spring summer this would be great because it is so lightweight um so i thought i would try that out to compare it to the cashmere if you like this style of jumper but you don't want to spend cashmere prices i think that this is such a great um lower price alternative that gives the same look of just a lovely quality simple crew neck jumper um but i couldn't resist trying out uniqlo uniqlo cashmere because as you know if you watch my channel i am a huge fan of just a simple cashmere jumper like this and i won't be keeping this one i do already have a very similar cashmere jumper in a very similar color that i wear so much which is why i wanted to order this one because I thought for any of you who love the one that I've got, this is such a great alternative. But actually, I think that this is such a good price point. I know I've said this about everything, but I genuinely think this is such a good price point for cashmere. It's 100% cashmere, it is £89.90. I know that a lot of the cashmere jumpers that I've shown you in the past, a lot of the cashmere jumpers that I own, are way over £100. And this feels beautifully soft. And it's not thin either. Sometimes when cashmere jumpers are a lower price point, you can kind of see they try and make it so thin to cut back on, on fabric and you can see your hand through it, whereas this feels just the right amount of thickness that you'd want to wear. It's lovely and soft, it's beautiful quality. I love the style of like the neckline and just the, just the simplicity of it. Obviously, I haven't got any branding on it at all. And I'm wearing this in a size medium. Both of these I've got in a medium. Um, and I like the fact that it's a little bit looser in a medium. It's just a beautiful, classic cashmere jumper and that is everything that i ordered from uniqlo and as you can probably tell i am super impressed with 
all of the items. I feel like I haven't shopped at Uniqlo before. I've never ordered anything online there. Um, and I am so impressed. And now I kind of see what all the fuss is about and why everyone's raving about their pieces because they just do such lovely wardrobe staples at really great price points. And I think that a lot of these pieces are items that you would then bring out year after year, style again and again, and could style it in so many different ways as well. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And I would love to know your feedback on what you thought of these pieces as well. If you enjoyed this style of video, do let me know because like I said, I am planning on making it into a series. Um, and just a heads up, the next video I'm planning on doing is Reese. I've already ordered the pieces, really gorgeous items. Um, slightly higher price point than Uniqlo, but um, yeah, some really lovely pieces. So that video will be coming soon. So make sure you're subscribed if you would like to see that. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. I can't remember if I've already said that. Did I say that already? Anyway, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.